So let me show how else, but this is like very um, lengthy process. You will not be, um, um, it, it will take you a long time and the skirt may become very heavy. What you can do to uh, make it faster, you don't have to uh, use half double crochet. You can do chain three and then double crochet in, skip three and double crochet in the next fourth uh, stitch. Again, chain three and double crochet in the fourth stitch. Chain three and double crochet in the fourth stitch. Chain three and double crochet in the fourth stitch. And you can do three, um, three or four times like that. One, three and double crochet in chain three space of the row below. One, two, three. And okay, so as you can see, we have um, one more, two, three, four. And um, I'll do double crochet in the last stitch here. Okay. Um, and now you have to... Now you can... Ouch. Add... you can add um, another row of Starbella yarn. But in this case, you will have to use two loops of Starbella yarn in each, um, or three loops, one in the same loop, half double crochet, two, same loop three and now a different loop one two and three okay now we take another loop and again doing three half double crochet in the same loop and chain three. One, two, and three. And then another loop also in the same chain three space we're doing three half double crochet, one, two, three. Basically what you are doing is in every chain three space, you are putting two loops of Sterbella yarn and in each loop you are doing three half double crochets, okay? One loop, chain three space, one half double crochet, another half double crochet, and third half double crochet. Another loop, same chain three space, one half double crochet, second half double crochet, third half double crochet okay so that's what you have another um, ruffle so you can see that this ruffle is not that puffy and it has more holes in it so 
you you will be having like a see-through effect so um you will need like an underskirt for it and this ruffle is more puffy because you did each loop in different stage and um, you don't have a see-through effect so it's up to you which um, method to use but you can do it different type types also what you can do is you can use double crochet so if you use double crochet in every stitch between the ruffles um, it will be good for you because double crochet um, you will not need as many rows as half double crochet because in half double crochet for example you will need four rows in between the ruffles but with double crochet you will need only two rows in between the ruffles so let's do double crochet now um let's um do two rows of double crochet in each stitch of the row below right we're doing just two rows of double crochet okay uh, now you can see you have two rows of double crochet you don't have to do four rows or six rows you can do only two um and do half double crochet in each stitch and each loop half double crochet in each stitch and each loop let's finish the row okay we finished so right now we have five um ruffles i believe let's see so first of all this is how it will look like you see this is the bottom ruffle this is Another ruffle, another ruffle, and another ruffle. So you have four. Let's see how. Let's see how it will look like. Put it up. You see, it will be a skirt. It could be can be four ruffles or so five ruffles. It depends on the size of the child. Okay. So this is how Starbella. Or, uh, yarn will look like Let's so we have one. our we will start exactly the same I will use the same uh, yarn and the same um, so I you, you saw I undo what I had before um, let's do the last stitch here and this is the yarn as you can see it's a chiffon or silk um, and it has its own loops right so we will do exactly the same thing we will put the yarn um, we will put the material we will do yarn over and put it through the first loop and do half double crochet oh sorry um, yarn over first stitch and first loop and do half double crochet yarn over second loop or second stitch and another loop and another half double crochet yarn over next stitch and another loop half double crochet next yarn over next stitch and another loop half double crochet let's finish the row so this is what you have and I think that this is like extremely 
puffy. Um, so we will probably leave this one as is, as the first ruffle. Um, also, you can see that this is not see-through material, it's not lace. So you don't have to do half double crochet um, in between the ruffles. You can do chain three, um, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Let me finish three rows of chain three with double crochet. Okay, so um, as I mentioned before, we should have even rows. So not three, we, will, we did four. It looks like this. So, and now if you put it on the right side and you put the ruffle properly, you see that uh, it's almost till the end. You can now start another ruffle underneath. Okay. So we will put it on the left side, turn it over. You are now on the right side again. So take your yarn. Where is the next loop? Do three, three um, half double crochet in each chain three space and each loop. Okay. Loop, chain three space, one half double crochet. Yarn over second half double crochet, yarn over third half double crochet. Now let's um, do another chain three space and another loop and do another three half double crochets. One half double crochet, two half double crochet, three half double crochet let's do another 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 one like this chain three space another loop yarn over and let's do three half double crochets one two three and let's finish the row okay we're done so if you put it like this, you will see that it's not that puffy as the other one. So you can uh, do different variations depending on what you want um, for the puffiness of the skirt. I think that the second one is better it will be much easier to maintain material and adjust it or add it um, in the ruffles or scarves so or whatever you want to do with, um, with the hook. Thank you.